Welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we are on our way to the Dollar Tree. I'm actually driving right now to the West Islip Dollar Tree and then I thought I would go to Comac and Bayshore and all of those stores. I will keep you guys, um, I'll keep you guys informed as I go along, but I wanted to let you guys know that Oh my goodness, there are so many things out there right now that I must have that I am on a mega, mega hunt and I'm taking you guys along with me. I'll see you guys at West Islip. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm laughing. I was like, oh, you have to tell everybody what you just did. Okay, so I went obviously to my favorite place to get cold coffee. When it comes to hot coffee at 7-Eleven, when it comes to Ice co I don't even drink iced coffee anymore. I'm obsessed with frozen coffee. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I'm in a parking lot. Um, I was ordering my coffee and the lady was like, do you want your receipt? And I'm like, oh my God, of course I want my receipt. And she looked at me and I'm like, oh no, not because I think you did anything wrong because I have to put it in my Fetch app. <laughs> and she, she was like, huh? She obviously didn't know what Fetch was. And I was like, the Fetch app. So then I proceeded to show her <laughs> and told her to use my code. And then she got interested. So then I showed her the app, of course. And then she downloaded the app and she was like, oh, wow. And then I'm like, and you have endless, endless receipts. All those people that don't take their receipt, you could be scanning it. And she's like, oh yeah. And I'm like, I think I need to work at Dunkin' Donuts and she thought it was the most hilarious thing. So you guys, it is addictive, especially if you work somewhere where people don't want their receipts. Hello, the Fetch app is the way to go. Cause that lady's like, ka -ching. She's like, wait a minute, I can just make money from, and I'm like, yeah. So she's excited and I'm excited for her. I literally want a job where I can get endless receipts now. That is so, well, I forgot, oh, I forgot that there's maximum that you're allowed to upload a week, but then you could always use like your kid's phone. Like I use Chris's phone for my surplus receipts. Anyway, you guys, I was gonna tell you, I'm gonna put my fetch code down below. I might put it even here. In case you guys have not downloaded the fetch app, it is the coolest thing ever because you actually can get gift cards to Dunkin' Donuts, Amazon, Ulta, you name it. I use it mostly for Amazon and I order things wholesale through Amazon, like pens or like things like that, that I give like giveaway stuff that I use during different times of the year. I order them through Amazon with the cards that I get from Fetch. So if you guys have never used Fetch, you absolutely need to. It's free money. Oh my goodness, you guys, you know what I'm gonna do, right? You, I can't even help myself. It's it's on now. Oh my gosh, you guys. If I don't go digging in boxes, I'm telling you, I don't find anything. And this is what needed to happen. I'm going to pull out all the different styles. I finally found it. <gasps> These are so beautiful. The black and white ones. I think I have a surprise for you guys. Let me pull out all the styles. Okay, so if you're in your Dollar Tree and you're hunting, this is what it looks like. It says Sultan's Linens. Do you guys see that? Yup, this is really exciting. These are the DT closeouts that I've heard have been all over New York, but they're being bought up before they even make it into the floors. These are amazing quality. They're called Mini Oven Mitt with Neoprene Grip. And they're not kidding you guys have seen them but look I'm so happy to be finding them myself these are gorgeous black and white classic they go with so many of the items that Dollar Tree is putting out these are perfect for Dollar Tree gift baskets I have this kind of country styled one these are a dollar 25 each but they're so so worth it you guys and then we have some peach ones these are so amazing. I am so excited. I hope that every store is flooded with them soon, but I have a funny feeling it may not happen. This I think is my favorite. Look at this print and it won't get dirty too easily, but let's keep looking and see what else is in the box. They're also peach, but they have some yellows and oranges. These are really cool looking as well. Very modern and kind of boho, beautiful. 
And then look at this beautiful black and white style. Also goes with so many. Look, even those signs, it just looks so good with so much of the stuff that we've been getting in the Dollar Tree that's farmhouse inspired. The black and white ones are gonna go first, I know it. Look at how beautiful the yellow ones are. These are so, so beautiful. I think I love this pattern the most, the speckled one. I love this one as well. These are so nice. They're so great. These are great for gift giving, hostess gifts, you name it, snag them up if you find them. I know they were way more than $1.25. Really hard to choose, but I also love this one. It's so different and it has like a real retro vibe. I think I need this in my life. And you guys know how I feel about yellow. And look at the seafoam green, you guys. This is really big for the holiday season this year for Christmas and I feel like you could even incorporate these into holiday gift baskets because this seafoam green is super like sage green is popular in holiday decor this year I wonder if there are even more patterns out there because I'm seeing that seafoam green plaid then this beautiful farmhousey seafoam green and then this seafoam green plaid is my favorite I don't know there's so many to choose from you guys it's tough and I'm finally seeing these, you guys, by Simply Essentials, the three-tier non-skid cabinet organizer. Uh, this has been a true struggle experience because these are flying out of the stores. There's only six in this box. I'm taking two, which leaves four behind, you guys. Hopefully, one of you awesome Dollar Treestas will snag them before they're gone because there are six in the box. This is what the box looks like. It says Lifetime Brands simply essentials 15 inch three tier cabinet so if you are on the hunt and you're a box raider you may find these you guys and they also have this one you guys i'm just pulling i only see a couple here in the store there's a couple i'm definitely going to take one look at the size of this by simply essentials cutlery tray six compartment tray that fits in most kitchen drawers Wow, it's huge, guys, and you can organize so many other things with this. This is so cool. While we're in this section, I thought I would let you guys know that these long flexible trays are actually also a Walmart closeout by the brand Starplast. They are they're much heavy dutier than the ones that we've seen in the past. They have them in the gray and the blue, and they're very flexible. You can fit them into other trays probably so that you have a higher depth. Perhaps you're sorting things or however you want to configure your storage. These are definitely a more malleable solution. You can squeeze them into maybe a drawer that is a bit of a pinch but yeah these are definitely not Greenbrier you guys it says made in the USA but these are from Walmart a closeout from Walmart as well the larger ones they also come in the gray and the blue see that they're not Greenbrier definitely interesting and much more heavy duty I'm finally seeing these fall decor pieces that never made it to New York for the fall basically everybody's shopping for Christmas now they come with two pine cones and one acorn and they are like door knockers or you can buy them and add them into a wreath I think they're so gorgeous but how nice would they be to add on to the top of a basket like you put the cellophane through here you let this hang on a nice foodie basket or gift basket for your loved ones. You could put this part through the cellophane and have this be kind of like the bow or the tag on your gift and even add in one of these awesome items like this, this set of oven mitts matches this one really nicely. I would love it if somebody gave me a hostess gift like that. The yellow one matches the brown so nicely with a basket full of goodies from the Dollar Tree and this in there. Or the green one would look so pretty with that. Yeah, that would be such a nice gift basket. I am obsessed with all the stuff that's coming in right now at the Dollar Tree. Round three of the fall decor has finally landed in New York. I have seen these before, but in only one store. Now these really simple, beautiful signs that have the maple leaf and then this leaf 
and then this leaf I think that that's an oak leaf I get them confused but I know that's a maple because <laughs> I love maple syrup this one says give thanks autumn blessings and hello fall I've only seen them in one store and I've never seen all three so these have been really hard to come by but our stores are finally seeming to get all of round three of fall and it seems to be flying off the shelves as usual fall is my favorite color again really simple really nice though there's something high-end about these this one says fall sweet fall I don't know if there's a third one no just fall is my favorite color and fall sweet fall they're so nice with this brushed gold embellishment that's what really makes them look high-end guys see what I'm saying this new round of decor it kind of all goes together plus you can make really thoughtful baskets for people although I kind of feel like I would maybe embellish this I like how they look together or the green with the beautiful seafoam green that's so in style the sign says gather together I am totally digging it or it's pumpkin spice season. I love this sign. It's pumpkin spice season. It's very, very well made, really nice. It's real wood, you guys. These are real wood signs. And then this one says autumn blessings. These three are my favorite. And look, the seafoam green oven mitts with the sign and whatever other things you can scrounge up. You can make some nice hostess gifts for under, I would even say $7. Great, great finds to be had. And I'm loving these signs. Autumn blessings, gather together, and pumpkin spice season. A, B, and C. Which one's your favorite? I'm curious. I'm kind of partial to B, gather together, because I'm loving the seafoam green. It's super popular everywhere and I have been seeing so much holiday Christmas home decor that is in the seafoam green color. What do you guys think of that for Christmas? Of course you can add some of these beauties into it. I love, love these. They are so gorgeous. I mean who does not want this? These are beautiful and you could even put like a little tea light in here put it on your table I mean not a real one a fake one so that it would light up but of course not a real one because it would catch fire but aren't those gorgeous and they did bring in more of these because these sold out so quickly the hello pumpkin you guys know these are absolutely fantastic the falling leaves so nice and the give thanks I think the give thanks was my favorite I think I'm gonna add this to my hostess gift that I'm gonna bring because again it's that beautiful sage green that I'm loving it's being carried throughout so many items in the store right now it's making me super happy I redid these little bronze flashy cuties we have the acorn the gorgeous gourd it's so nice it looks really expensive they made the pine cones in silver and they sit like this finally seeing more of this pumpkin I showed you guys this pumpkin weeks and weeks ago but it was the only one on the shelf and now I'm seeing lots of these these are so super go these are really gorgeous I really am impressed with the Dollar Tree and all of the different styles of decor that they have given us they gave us farmhouse they gave us glam they gave us everything this year and I'm I'm here for it it's fabulous I also see that they brought out their 15 inch holiday wreath which is like a Charlie Brown struggle wreath as well as their 18 inch holiday wreath but something that I love to do is of course you take it and you pull all of the branches out and then you put the 15 inch one inside of the 18 inch one and you zhuzh it and it starts to look really good you guys for only two dollars and fifty cents these two together intertwined become a much bigger much better wreath now check this out you guys I've never seen this before it says glass cleaner with anti-fog wipes cleans and helps prevent interior fogging this would be really good for glasses too I'm gonna take a peek hmm I'm buying that one okay they're not dried up this looks great guys I mean they always have lots of armor all products in the Dollar Tree great for making gift baskets but this glass cleaner with anti-fog 
This is cool, even for our glasses in the winter and the summer heat, I'm down for that. Okay guys, this is so crazy. I walked to the back of the store by the refrigerator section and look at what I'm seeing here next to the salsitas, which are pretty delicious, and the bootleg Apple Jacks. I'm seeing this, which I have been looking for everywhere. Look at how cool that is. The limited edition post Disney 100 Years of Wonder Mickey Mouse Club. This is naturally flavored confetti cake cereal for a buck and a quarter. This is huge, 16 ounces. What a great buy. And it's back here if you're looking for it. West Islip still has lots of the fit shake and the fruity cereal and the premier protein root beer float with 30 grams of protein. A lot of you guys are saying that this is delicious. So if you guys are looking for it, they've got them here. This is so unassuming, I almost walk right past it. It is Funfetti Vanilla <laughs> Premium Cupcake Mix with Oreo cookie pieces. What? This looks super yummy. For just $1.25, <laughs> it's got Oreos in the mix. How cool is that? So you guys were right. In the comments, you guys were telling me that even though I really like the gel one, which by the way, they're the same size, nine ounce for the gel, nine ounce, wait, are they the same size or am I crazy? They are, nine ounce for the beads, but it just doesn't seem like it's the same size. I don't know why, but I feel like you get more bang for your buck with the gel, because I feel like it lasts longer. Does that make any sense? But you guys are right. The gel seems to have a slightly different color than the beads, and you can put one of these wizard candles in a gift basket with the goodies that are coming in this pumpkin spice scent the sweet warm and spicy linen and room spray and the sweet warm and spicy crystal beads you can actually do it because the beads have a deeper orange color kind of melges but what i'm really happy about because i have been on the mega hunt to see if it would work and it does because i love the apple cinnamon scent one is my favorite is the candle from wizard that is apple cinnamon scented and they do have a bunch still here in west islip from my local dollar tree shoppers and you guys this candle has a fantastic throw so i've used these before and i think that the candles that they have in the air freshener section are actually the best ones <laughs> I don't know, I don't really care so much for the luminescence ones and all of that, but the ones that they usually carry in this area, they have a decent throw. And so I am completely excited about that. That's gonna be a cool addition to little gifts with the spray and the candle, even if you wanna add some soap to it or whatever you wanna add to it, I think it's cool. The candle definitely adds a little extra something. By the sodas, they even have the Munchies protein shake here at West Islip still. So they have all of the protein shakes here. They have the Alani coffees in all the flavors, like up there and here, the cappuccino, maple donut, and mocha. And I know you guys are loving those. If you can drink them, they are definitely delicious. This is something that I know that not everybody was able to find. And honestly, the Le Mercerie Longwear Foundation line is fantastic, you guys. They have several different tones in each skin tone. It goes from 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. It's very gradual. And then they have 201, two, you guys get it. But it is very, very nice foundation, you guys. It goes all the way down to 405. So whatever your skin tone, it is likely that you will find something here and also something to contour with because even if you're a light skin tone, you might need something to use as contour and you can get it here. And this foundation is a really nice foundation. It's by the brand La Mercerie, which everyone has absolutely gone gaga over their mascara. It's pretty good, you guys, for just $1.25. This is a dupe to Laura Mercier, but it's called La Mercerie favorite essentials collection long wear foundation semi matte finish it's really great you guys if you have not yet tried it definitely give it a shot and if you're local this didn't make it everywhere so they do have a full just stocked box and you can come in and grab your shade look at this 
placemat, you guys, for your table, it says resilient, confident, positive. This was made to be DIY because that's not normally something you would put on your dinner table, but it's so cool. Dollar Tree kills me, you guys. Better late than never. I know a lot of you were looking for this for Halloween. It lights up. It lights up all over the place. And it's finally here in New York where I would have put it in my subscriber appreciation gift for Halloween. Now I'm debating. You guys see all the little holes? It lights up. I am debating if I should pick it up now for next year. Wait till you see what I just found that I've never seen before and it's so tacky and tantalizing. It's by Luminescence and it says LED faux flower ball decor. I feel like people are going to buy these up. There's only a dozen in the box and use them as holiday Christmas ornaments. They are off the hook. Are you ready? I told you they're tacky and tantalizing, but they are tantalizing. I am just in love with this. It's like slowly changing color and the flower is really vibrant. These are fabulous. Finally starting to see some of the signage out on entire end cap walls in the Dollar Trees by me. And I can say with all sincerity that this is like the best of 2022's Christmas because these are all last year's signs. We have the long shutter signs, let it snow and ho, ho, ho. And we have the short version, Welcome, with the snowman, which is really cute. I like to call these the shutter signs, but they did make these last year. And Merry Christmas. The North Pole Christmas Tree Farm is missing the beaded um, wood piece here. And all of them are missing it because they actually are from last year. So I'm looking through it and every single one of them is damaged. So you'd have to... I don't know exactly what you would do, but I'm hoping they bring out new ones. The old St. Nick's Toy Workshop gifts, trucks, dolls, games, and trains. So cute. I love it. But my favorite one was the old fashioned gingerbread bakery. But then I put fabric over this on my channel last year and I put red and white buffalo check because I thought it would be so much cuter red and white and I had a whole huge gingerbread cocoa bar because I love red and white gingerbread it makes me so happy then they have the welcome gnome and the gnome for the holidays we've seen it before and this sign was a big hit last year Christmas wishes and hot cocoa kisses and the Merry Christmas we have the home for the holidays this was my absolute favorite perfect flawless sign that they made last year candy cane lane i love it and they also have santa's workshop i think that those are two of the cutest signs they've ever made they have the merry christmas with the red truck and this one the let it snow is really seasonal it's not necessarily christmas it could be for any faith or just a seasonal decor piece and that's the only thing there and then we have the joy Peace and Noel. They make that every year and the glittery happy holidays and there's no place like home, which they made different finally because there was a different snowman sign that they had made for like, I swear, 10 years and I still have it. And this is like the new variation of it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you know. And they did bring in their tinsel tabletop trees and the 15 foot garland which everybody loves to do all kinds of DIYing with. And we have all the tinsel items, but I'm not seeing the gingerbread man, which was the most popular tinsel item last year. I do have that tinsel struggle wreath that I don't really know what people do with this, but I have seen people make things out of it and I'm always in amazement because it just shocks me that they keep making this wreath year after year. And they do have the deer that I've seen people do all kinds of amazing things with also. They have them in gold, they have them in silver, and they have them in red. And you guys have seen those year after year, but I just thought I would give you a little glimpse of the it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas here at, I'm in the West Babylon store, but I'm definitely gonna grab some of the 15 foot garland I'm definitely going to grab some of the 15 foot garland because this stuff goes quick and it's really, really good for all kinds of projects. And yeah, I'm going to grab some of that. 
And they've got this too, it's a tea light. This one says Merry Christmas with the red truck. And this one with the bearded Santa says Noel. And I feel like they had that last year, but this one, I swear is new. This candy cane clad gingerbread house is adorable. You could even take it off of the tea light and use it in a wreath or something like that. I really love that it's a gingerbread house made out of metal. That is very cool. Seeing some new patterns in the awesome juncture slippers. And just as I suspected, this is a mismatched pair, but still they're so cool. I love them. I have finally found the evidence that I needed that these slippers were made from Sherpa blankets. Obviously the company took lots of their Sherpa blankets throws and turned them into brilliant slippers. And every single box just has an assortment of amazing slippers. They even have some for the trick or treating. They even have some for those who want to stay home and give out candy to the trick or treaters in cozy style. Look at that Halloween slippers. Still here at West Babylon, you guys, and I'm seeing all the goodies that are coming in on the truck. They're just putting them out and I've never ever seen this before. And it is Langer's Orange 100% Juice, blend of four juices from Concentrate, no sugar added. Let's see what the juices are. I know that this is a brand name, Orange Tangerine Pineapple and Apple Juices. Mmm, that sounds delicious. This is a great deal, you guys. It is a 5.1 fluid ounce of Heinz Premium Light Soy. And Light Soy has less salt, which is good for everybody, basically. But at a buck and a quarter, that's a great deal. Except for me, of course, because I'm allergic to soy. But sadly, I'm gonna leave it behind, even though I love soy sauce. Well, I've been on the hunt for these, you guys. And my friend here just showed them to me. Blueberry and vanilla, naturally flavored, 20 gram protein, powerful overnight oats, made with natural ingredients, I don't think I knew that the blueberry vanilla even existed, and that sounds like the flavor I would love the most. So you actually put milk in it to a fill line, put it in your fridge, and eat it in the morning. I'm not sure if I'm down with overnight oats, but I might pop it in the microwave and try it. Let's see, I'm gonna pick some up. I'm finally seeing the new holiday totes, and I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with more. This one is definitely new. It says, Happy Holidays, and look at this print. It's really kind of interesting very very cool and it's that darker red that I'm seeing very popular this year the bright red is not in this year it's the darker red I'm seeing shown everywhere all a good night with Santa very cute for kids toys and putting bunches of gifts inside of that bag this is my absolute favorite with the snowflakes I mean favorite I love it and again they put the dark red and then this one they made last year and they've carried it over into a lot of the kitchen linens and stuff this year so they brought it back and it has the really pretty side panel the best side panel of all which one's your favorite a b c or d definitely for me it's the snowflake c wins hands down and i did show you guys the money cards the other day but dollar tree has new christmas greeting cards and there are three different styles that I'm seeing. You get 12 and the colors of the envelopes are all varied, which I think is pretty cool. There's this one that's showing Oh Holy Night in the front, but you have four different patterns inside, three of each, and it comes with the stickers to seal the envelope. Isn't that cool? There is all is calm, all is bright, peace and joy with the Cardinal, very beautiful. Message inside, it says, is silver foil may you feel blessed by the miracle of christmas now and always for the all is calm and all is bright and then on the inside of the peace and joy we have merry christmas and a happy new year with red foil and then oh holy night which is really pretty which is why they put that right on the front it says it's gold foil on the inside it says the stars are brightly shining just like the song i love this card and then this one says Believe in the magic of Christmas with the real life reindeer. And on the inside of this beautiful card with the real life reindeer, it says, wishing you the kind of holiday that warms your heart and home, Merry Christmas. Those are very pretty. So that's one pack. And then in this 12 pack, we have 
Merry Christmas with a very like folk art looking Santa on the front. Oh, this one's got the gnome, gnome couple, gnome for the holidays. It just says Merry Christmas with red foil. Oh, the double decker bus. Look at how cute this is. Christmas wishes with all the holiday characters. How cute is that? And it says hope a very happy holiday is headed your way. Oh my God, that's brilliant. And then this one says wishing you a fun filled Christmas in gold foil and then here joy to the world oh that's my favorite card i love the word joy it says many heartfelt wishes for a peaceful holiday Ooh, these are really cute yes and this does have the gnome i know there are lots of gnome lovers and again those are the stickers that you get in this pack i can't really make them out but they're cool to have it makes the card much nicer for that buck and a quarter and these are classic cards absolutely classic look at that with the merry christmas that's beautiful and I'm not a huge red and black buffalo check person, but that card is gorgeous. Wishing you a fun-filled Christmas. Perfect. Wishing you a magical holiday full of joy and cheer with the classic Santa and the red truck. And oh my gosh, look at that puppy. I love it. And then this one says, may your Christmas be merry and bright. Wishing you the love, peace, and happiness that Christmas brings. And then this one says, may the beauty of the season touch your heart and warm your home. <gasps> Oh boy, these are beautiful. I think, ooh, and I even, oh my gosh, I even love the stickers that you get with this pack. I think this may be my favorite pack for sure. Those are beautiful. I don't remember ever, ever seeing this tool skirt in the Dollar Tree. It's really nice. It has an elastic waist. It's pretty big, actually. I feel like it would fit several children's sizes and even small adults. It's 20 by 14 inches see there's like a lot of give to it it's really cool i showed you guys the covered containers the other day but we didn't see these these are also super airtight and stackable they have this one with the santa and the elves and the reindeer super cute and they have the gingerbread one which is my favorite the gnome one and they're definitely all new prints from the ones they've had in the past and this one has the red truck with Santa driving and the camper, really, really cute. So these are definitely new prints this year. And these are my favorite holiday containers. And I am in love with these new patterns. They are fantastic. So the first one we have is this one, candy canes, hot cocoa, and marshmallows. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And cookies for Santa with the pink. And it kind of gives me gingerbread vibes. They're both very, very cute. I love both of them. Aren't they nice? I love these. I don't even remember seeing them for Thanksgiving this year, actually. I guess they made the other ones instead. Those are the containers I showed you guys in my past video, so I'm not going to take time to show them again. If you missed that walkthrough, please go and check it out. I'll put the thumbnail here in the corner. Here we have some two packs, and I think that they did change this up as well. It says, have a cozy comfy Christmas I do not remember that sentiment last year oh joy to the world no these are definitely new oh the red truck they do no matter what happens this one says merry and bright with the red truck hmm I remember there being a blue one it looks like they got rid of that but they do have the gingerbread man little buckets with the handles but they did bring back out the gingerbread man ones like this and the blue one and the Santa's belt one. They make those every year. I love these iridescent platters. Honestly, I've had mine for maybe 10 years. They're great. You can reuse these forever. They're super duper heavy duty, you guys. Very good quality. Time in and time again, I use them. And the cute little Buffalo check red truck metal tray. Everybody went crazy over those. If you use these to make little gifts, they do have four new ones this year. They're not double-sided, so you can flip them over during other times of the year and use them for other things or double embellish them. So I kind of dig that. Merry and bright. Then happy holidays with the wreath. I actually love this wreath. It's a holly wreath. Love that. And then we have just joy with that snowflake. And it's really pretty, actually. I just love the word joy. Merry Christmas, my dear. 
get it dear i love it that's really cute too so those are the four new ones and these are the double-sided ones correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like they did change the deer and the snowman i think they're all a little different this year than last year so these are the four they have going on here and in the cookie platters i'm seeing two new styles season's greetings they're clear plastic and this definitely is new and I really like it. It matches the covered container that I showed you guys in my previous walkthrough. Really cute. There's only two that I'm seeing here. I'm not sure if there are more. And I love this platter year after year that just says joy. Obviously, I go crazy for the word joy. Then we have this cookie platter and this one for the most wonderful time of the year. And we do see the oblong platters year after year as well. I feel like this is different for sure. With the three snowmen, it looks different to me. This one is year after year also done. And I love, I love this print so much. Hmm, I don't remember this one. The Santa is really gorgeous in this one. Look at that. He's got a little age on him. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I really like this platter. I don't remember this from years gone by. And I'm seeing the poinsettia platter. I feel like they do make that every year. And it says, Seasons, Greetings, Joy Noel. You know what? I think that this, I think this is also a little different than it was last year. So that's what I'm seeing here now. But I know that there are several other styles out there and we're gonna find them. Okay, this is like my favorite thing Dollar Tree does. Have yourself a magical holiday. The flower sack towel. This is somewhere between a gnome and an elf. I love it. And it's striped. Oh my goodness. You could even tear this up and do one of those scrap fabric garland or whatever those things are called. I love those things. Christmas isn't a season. It's a feeling. This is so cute too. And then the fabric is elf shoes and gifts. I'm loving these. These are super cute, kid friendly. Shake your flakes. This is adorable. And this is not necessarily Christmas. It's just winter. I like that a lot. And then we have this one with the holiday lights and it says jingle all the way. This is also really cute. Let's see what this pattern is. Look at that. That's really pretty. I'm loving these. And that's all for you guys. Aren't those cool? Hmm. I think I love these. And then they put out all of the holiday kitchen linens we have seen these in years past so i'm not going to share them again although time and time again i have to admit i do love this one and i think a lot of people do and they do have the tapestry placemats down there and i'm going to show them to you guys very close up and personal in one second but i'm also seeing that they that they brought back their chair pads and i really like that they do this every year i love these they're super easy and convenient we have the classic poinsettia, the North Pole, so cute. Merry Christmas. And then we have solid red. I love that they're doing solid red. That's very, very cool. All right, am I in that crazy, bizarro black hole that I go into in the Dollar Tree where everything looks new to me? I have these and I love them, but why do they look different to me this year? but just a little different. I'm gonna have to probably buy one just to compare it because th this is the Dollar Tree's thing. Sometimes they remake things, but they change them just a little. And I'm almost positive this one is slightly different this year. I would even have to go back to my old video. I had to pick that piece of string off. That is my OCD, you guys, I can't help it. Look at how pretty the joy is. That would even look beautiful framed that's really, really pretty. Or even if you cut the buffalo check out, you can even frame it. This is so nice to even staple over a canvas. Isn't this a gorgeous? It's different than last year. I'm almost positive. And then we have the red truck with the tree with which people make pillows out of and they do so many things. And I think that it's slightly different again this year. I don't know why, but I do. And then I don't even remember this from last year. Comment down below if they made this last year. Am I losing my mind? Are these all slightly different than they were last year? Maybe I've lost it. I think it's time to go back home, you guys. Now these right here are actual Hasbro products from Nerf. I've never seen them before. 
first I thought that Dollar Tree knocked them off, but they're not. They are Nerf blind bags and they're mystery glow in the dark launchers, disc launchers. Kids love these, yes. They play around with each other, but they're definitely fun. And when you have a lot of them and a lot of kids opening them, they really have a good time. Then we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza launcher. This is really cool too. And these are also actual real products, not by Greenbrier. This is from Nickelodeon. And look at that, it says collect them all. Yeah, kids are gonna love those. Those are cute little stocking stuffers. So I'm seeing some new developments in the, the Jot school supply and office supply section seeing these cute journals and they are really cute these are perfect stocking stuffers this one says smile with the stickers and do you guys see that you can actually take that off they're actually listening and when you disconnect the stickers it's just a plain pretty pink and white striped journal and this all comes off I think that that is brilliant. And see how they did it in the back? They just wrote Greenbrier International, small. Very, very well done. Congratulations, Dollar Tree. Then this one says Radiate Positivity. Look at those cute stickers. And this is just solid baby blue. Really, oh, look at that. Really pretty. You could probably use it either way. I'm kind of loving that once the sticker is gone. But this one is everything daisies and strawberries because it is very cool Lo oh my gosh and it's oh my god okay i have to have that that is adorable and then we have this you guys look at this for all of those cowgirls on your holiday shopping list this is really cute print and it's pink look at that super duper cute these are actually adorable i definitely like them and I think that they would make really cute stocking stuffers. They did remake these spiral bound jot like velvet notebooks and these feel like money. This one is black velvet with gold foil. My favorite is the blue one. It's so luxurious. It feels wonderful. The backside is just matte, really nice. Do you guys see that? Really, these look expensive too. I'm really digging it. And then we have pink and I know everybody loves pink, but I think I love the blue the best. So kind of interesting. I've seen these in the past in the round version, but now these are four flat pitas in the square version. You get four for $1.25. Here's the nutritional information. In the past, they had a crazy amount of sodium, 210 milligrams. It really is up to the person having them. They have sugars in them as well. You guys always ask me to let you know that, but that looks like a good buy if you can eat it. I'm in the Comac store by the bowling alley. We do have like all the other stuff that we always see, the bagels, they're fully, fully stocked here. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I saw the overnight oats in a different store in this walkthrough, but I haven't seen the maple and brown sugar with other natural flavors, 20 grams of protein, this is meant to be eaten hot, which I'm kind of liking better. I don't love overnight oats. I've tried to love them, but I just, well, I'm gonna try these though, cause you never know. But if I don't like them, I'm gonna put them in the microwave and I know I'm gonna like them. But yeah, so they have this flavor as well. I think there's a lot of flavors out there. Look at these so adorable baby head wraps, you guys. They're made of like boucle. They are so, so soft. I wish you could reach out and touch these. I've never touched anything softer in the Dollar Tree. I'm obsessed. This is really, really adorable for a baby. Even more friend socks. So now there's three different versions out here in the Dollar Tree world. This one has the sofa, the infamous sofa, and the taxi cab. And it still says, how you doing at the top? And on the other side, we have, <laughs> is that Smelly Cat and the guitar? Oh my gosh, this is the Phoebe one. I love it. That they still have a bunch of Erica, the color Erica, in the Prideful See Me Liquid Foundation. It's not a bad foundation, actually. I haven't found a color that's perfect for me yet, but I am happy with its consistency. Yeah, these are all Erica. And I am seeing that they still have Versage. I love this lipstick color. It is gorgeous. I thought that it was like a hot pink, 
but it's a color that is like a mixture of everything. I wore it in a video the other day and shared it with you guys. It's like magenta, hot pink, red, all rolled up into one. It's really, really beautiful. We just saw these at West Islip, but we didn't see black and white polka dot ones, so I know now that there are so many more styles out there that I have yet to see, but if you're on the hunt for them, Comax got them. No, I've never seen these before. They seem to be candles. Yes, they're candles. Look, they come in silver, gold, and white, like a pearly white. Those are really nice. Right now, as I'm recording this, it's the next day, and I forgot these in the car. It's okay, because they're shelf stable. But I think I'm going to, I bought them because they're kind of a substantial size, as you guys can see. And sometimes I do make flatbread pizza because my son, who is lactose intolerant, of course loves pizza. It's his favorite food. But I have to make it at home usually with um, vegan cheese for him. He doesn't know that it's vegan. He thinks that I do so. I don't know. I don't even talk about it and he eats it and it doesn't make him sick and we're good. But I wanted to tell you guys that um, I think it's good for flatbread pizza because sometimes those flatbreads like non even or anything like that. I mean, I get them from Stop and Shop and unfortunately, unless I find them on my Monday morning clearance scavenger hunt they're like up to eight dollars sometimes so to get them for a buck and a quarter is a good deal if you make flatbread pizzas be on the lookout for those those are good for that they have like just the right flatbread consistency christopher actually loves like the weirdest pizza it has like barbecue sauce pineapple mozzarella cheese it's something that we got from one of those home cook boxes a long time ago when we tried it and John and I were like this isn't pizza and Chris was like this is the best pizza so I'm gonna make that for my son when I make him pizza night and it's also convenient because you can make individual ones which is pretty cool so I figured I would share that with you guys but that's it you guys that's the whole video it's the next day I'm actually running errands and I figured I would let you guys know that that's what I was gonna do with that and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my community those of you who show up to my premieres and are always interacting with me you I am so grateful for you guys you keep me going and we have lots of cool and exciting things coming up in the very near future so I hope you guys stay tuned and as always guys stay safe and stay savvy and leave a comment down below don't forget to do that thanks guys bye okay so this is how we ended up putting them together turns out everybody made their own I put fresh tomato, mushroom, onion, olive oil, garlic, and well, garlic powder. And I did put some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. I have the container, but I just put it in the blender. It's fresh. And I used ripe olives that I bought from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree does sell mozzarella, but this is the one from Aldi's. And I, and I used the Prego fresh mushroom. I didn't even buy pizza sauce. So if you find those flatbreads and you feel like making an easy Dollar Tree dinner, you can pick up mushrooms from the Dollar Tree. They do have them in the jar. They have the olives. They do have mozzarella. I did put some diced onion, but you don't have to. You could always use onion powder. I did use garlic powder, and it's an easy way to make a quick and delicious dinner. Well, let's see, because I'm popping these in the air fryer. Let's see how they come out. And this is how they came out. I think they look really good. This bread is really cool. I, yeah, I, I would definitely buy this again. I think it's awesome and it's a very good price. Here's the fresh tomato one. It's kind of crispy if you guys can hear that. It looks good to me.